Alright yeah, how's it going guys and welcome back to some more Magic Jewels. We are back again for some Two-Headed Giant. I am joined by Thelona. Hey folks! And this week we're going to be both playing two different ramp decks. So, uh, mine is the All In Brasella combo. I've not really played this on the channel uh, too much, but the previous stream, uh, you can check out some gameplay there. It was a subscriber list submitted by, hang on... It was. It's just too many. Engine Zakaria. So thank you very much for the list. It's a lot of fun. I've made a few minor tweaks. Uh, added some Amira Shepherds, but I'll show you the deck list after this. Lona, do you want to tell us a bit about your deck? Well, mine's the Angel Ramp deck that was ever so popular on my channel. It was actually my most popular deck, and we're bringing it back. We're going to be hitting them with a double ramp with a whole ton of angels. Because angels are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've got a very angel-themed, rampy deck today. Um, so if you do want to check out Falona's video as well, his two-headed giant video will have two completely unique matches for you guys to watch. So if you want double the magic, head on over to Falona's channel. The link will be in the description. Also, subscribe while you're there for some more magic content and Magic Arena as well when that comes out pretty soon. Falona will also be getting on that, so yeah. All of that jazz, and I will see you guys in the deck tech. All right, see ya. Okay, so before we get into the matches, just do a little quick deck tech for you guys, just to give you an idea of what the deck is supposed to be doing. So the combo that I mentioned before includes Gisela, the Broken Blade. So she's a 4-3 flying first striking lifelink, a pretty solid creature for four mana. Um, you won't be too sad to see her on her own. You want to combo her off essentially with our top end creature, Bruna the Fading Light. So she's 7 mana. If your Gisela is in the graveyard, you can actually cast Bruna to return Gisela. And then on your end step, you actually meld them into Brazella, Voice of Nightmares. So it's a 9-10 flying first striking life-linking creature. And your opponents can't cast spells with converted mana cost 3 or less. So it shuts down a ton of your opponent's stuff. So... I'm hoping to pull off a few Brasellas here and there between the matches on mine and Thelona's channel, so uh, we'll see how well we do that. Uh, in between all of that, because it's not the only thing that we want to be doing, we've got Amiria Shepherds as well. Seven mana yet again for a 4-4 flyer. This one does have landfall, so whenever a land enters the battlefield, you get to return a non-land permanent from your graveyard to your hand. However, if it is a plains, you get to put it onto the battlefield instead. So if I play a plains and there's an Ajani in my graveyard, then I get both a 4-4 four, four Flyer and an Ajani into play, get to take up Ajani. We're going to do some fun little things, maybe even combo with Explosive Vegetation for double planes, that kind of stuff. So let's go right to the beginning of the deck, shall we? So we've got a few uh, early game deterrents, essentially, because we want to survive. We've got the Sylvan Advocate, that's a 2-mana two 2-3 two, with Vigilance, who becomes a 4-5. Makes land creatures uh, have plus 2, plus 2, but we don't really have any land creatures in the deck, so... It's not really something to concern ourselves with. Uh, Duskwatch Recruiter is a two mana two two. If it doesn't, if your opponent doesn't play any creatures or you don't play any cards, specifically cards, not creatures, uh, you get to flip it into Crownal Hall Harla, which actually gives you cost reduction on creatures. You kind of want this side over the Duskwatch Recruiter, although his three mana ability does allow you to search for cards. Druid of the Cowl is ramp two mana one three, adds one green mana to your mana pool. Can't go wrong. Declaration in Stone as our catch-all um, exile spell for creatures. So if they are tokens, you get to wipe all of their tokens out. It's a pseudo board wipe in that sense for two mana, if you can get it to set up perfectly. Otherwise, you can hit Ulamog for two mana and they get a clue token in place. So either way, Declaration in Stone usually gets you a ton of value. We then have Nissa Vasswood Seer. Uh, Nissa's... She's okay in the deck. She's a 3 mana 2-2. Two, two. If you've got 7 or more lands, then you get to flip her over into Sage Animist. And she gets to essentially ramp you with her plus 1. Otherwise, it's just straight up card advantage. 4-4 four, four for the minus 2 to protect herself. And the minus 7 turns those um, lands into land creatures. Which is something where Sylvan Advocate actually comes in handy. Um, I do feel like Nyssa in this particular deck is a little bit of bait, to be honest, because you don't want your Gisela to ever be exiled, otherwise you lose your combo. We're not It's not game over at that point, though, because we do have things like Tireless Tracker 
three mana, three, two. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, you get to investigate. So we get a clue token, which is straight up card advantage. And whenever you sacrifice a clue, you get to put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. So these guys can get pretty big. Uh, I think some of the matches you'll see, um, the tireless trackers are actually leading the charge on a lot of the matches. So a lot of fun there. Uh, collective effort, uh, single copy to take care of enchantments to pump up the team or even take care of big creatures as well. For three mana, it's pretty good. All you have to do to pick an extra one is tap on tap creatures, which uh, with mana docks, not too difficult. Eldritch Evolution is our sort of extra Gisellas and Brunas. So it's three mana. As an additional cost, you sacrifice creature. Then you get to search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less where X is two plus the sacrifice creatures converted mana cost, and then you put them onto the battlefield. So we can sacrifice our Talus Tracker to get our Gisela. Uh, we can sacrifice our Abyssin, our Arba Back Stomper, our Cloud Blazer, and all of those will get us our Bruna. So Eldritch Evolution, depending on the board state, can be both a Bruna and a Gisela at the same time. So if you're missing one piece, you can get the other one with the Eldritch Evolution. They do get exiled, so uh, the... The card itself gets exiled, shall I say, so you've got to be aware of that. Uh, three cast outs to catch everything else that the rest of our deck doesn't. Uh, exiles, non-land permanents, planeswalkers, creatures, enchantments, anything that you want really. As long as it's not a land, you can take care of it. And then in the early game, we can cycle it. There's one little fun thing you can do with cast out if you've got the Emeria Shepherd. You can cycle it into your graveyard and then play a planes with the Emeria Shepherd. If you play the planes, then you pull a permanent out of the graveyard so we can use the cast out to exile something that way as well and get card draw. It's really good, really awesome. Explosive Vegetation speaks for itself, gets two basic land cards, puts them onto the battlefield tapped. Uh, you want to grab forests in the early game and then once you've got your Emeria Shepherd, your deck should be full of planes and every Explosive Vegetation then is reanimate two cards essentially, which is pretty good. Tamiyo is a deterrent as well, I would say, and also a card draw to find our little combo as well. So for four mana, for a four loyalty planeswalker, you can plus up to give two target creatures the ability to draw me cards when they deal combat damage. So you can apply them to your opponent's creatures to deter them from maybe attacking because they don't want us to draw two cards. You can also just tap the two creatures if you think they're going to attack as well and they don't untap. The minus seven as well is something that is um, potentially a viable thing in the deck. Draw three cards, then you get an emblem with you may cast an online cards without paying the mana cost. Everything in your deck becomes free, essentially, so this is kind of a I win ultimate, and I love it, and I will hope to do it today. Archangel Everson can give all of our creatures indestructible at the right time as well. If you can flash them in, uh, you can use it as a combat trick. However, if a non-angel creature you control dies, then you get to transform it into Averson the Purifier, who deals three damage to each other creature and each opponent. So we can use this to take out Planeswalkers, hit our opponent, swing for nine, that kind of thing. So um, really fringe situations where this will be useful, but it will eventually come in handy. Arborback Stomper, Thrag Daddy as I like to call him, or Thrag Daddy's little cousin. A uh, five mana, five four with Trample. Arborback Stomper enters the battlefield, you gain five life. So yet again, it's a deterrent to stop us from dying so soon before we get our combo down. And it's also a 5-4 blocker as well, which really slows your opponent down. You can also uh, leap into your Bruna from there as well. Two copies of Bla Cloud Blazer, kind of the same thing as our Stomper for the same reason. Three mana for a 2-2 flyer, except for this one draws us two cards and it gains us two life as well. So the life gain, pretty relevant if we're trying to survive. The card draw allows us to find our combo. Ajani Unyielding for 6 mana is a 4 loyalty planeswalker. You get to tick up, reveal the top 3 cards of your library, put all non-land cards um, revealed this way into your hand, the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So um, our deck is set up in such a way where this usually hits quite consistently all 3 cards if we can make it happen. The minus 2 allows us to exile creatures and we get and its control against life so we can use this to get rid of an Ulamog, something that's threatening Ajani, whatever. And the minus 9 if we've got the um, the Tamiyo down at the same time, then we can actually ultimate Tamiyo off of this most of the time, so that's pretty fun. Um, the Amira Shepherd we've talked about, Bruno we've talked about, so we've got the lands. The lands are essentially five plains, one island, five forests. For our dual lands, we've actually skewed some check lands, but they are skewed in such a way that the plains is the favoured side of it, because it's easy enough to get our lands, to be honest. 
So in the late game, we want to hit as many planes as possible. So I've put in as many plane dual lands that hit all of the colours that we need as possible. So the forest planes gets us a card out of our graveyard with an Amira Shepherd. Same does the Prairie Stream. Got two copies of Sun Petal Grove just to make sure that we've got the green mana though. And three copies of Ether Hub for exactly the same reason. If we need the blue, if we need the green, if we need the white, Ether Hub is right here. We don't get to generate any more energy, but from experience, we've never really needed to use this more than once for the colour. You will probably eventually get mana screwed by it, but it's not a common occurrence. And finally, we got Evolving Wilds as well. We get to sacrifice this, find a basic land card, double triggers for any landfall um, card in our deck as well, um, including the Tireless Tracker, so something to consider. And we can go grab planes off of that as well. That's going to be the deck, guys, anyway. If you want to go and check out Thelona's deck as well, the link is in the description to his video as well as a link at the end card as well to a full playlist of uh, two-headed giant videos for you guys. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, hit the like button, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the games. We're on the draw. Yay. <laughs> Best place to One be. One of these. Uh, I don't know if I can keep this. This is, uh, it's okay, I suppose, but it's not great. It's no ramp. Mine's, yeah, mine's not too rampy, but it's functional. Yeah, I've got exactly the same hand, but I'm going to keep it because screw going down to six. Never do that. Yeah. Okay, we got a fat stack on the left. We got a normal boy on the right. Mm-hmm. I'm stuck here in the middle with you. <laughs> well, I'm stuck here with uh, Ollie. Not deciding to end his turn. There we go. <laughs> uh-huh. You could have come later. All right. I'm going to crack this for a green. Okie dokie, well, I'll just uh, lay down green and ha ha, we'll barrage them with forests. Mm. So I think the ultimate goal of this particular weekly series is to both get Brissella going. I think that's <laughs> uh, it's the number well, one if, goal. If one happens, the other one happens easier? Yeah, I suppose that's correct. Right, Duskwatch, go! <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna start with Death Gap. Nice. Well, Druid seems a little better uh, in combat for defending if we need it. Hmm. Let's see I'm if thinking... I just watch flips. I'm going with very unlikely. Hmm. <laughs> yep, there we go. It's not anymore. Mono black zombies? Lord over nothing at the moment. Hmm. You know, I had a match with uh, zombies the other day. I don't know if I actually recorded it and uploaded it, but they were Ooh. they were mono black zombies for about ninety percent of the match, and then he scooped and the AI played a white land, and I was like, oh, oh dear, <laughs> they were white. That's the wrong card. Oops. Oh dear. That's not what I meant to do. He's still making choices on my end. <laughs> ah, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Your choice has been made. <laughs> Oh dear. No, I had the explosive vegetation in hand and I grabbed the wrong card. <laughs> ah. That'll do it. Alright. Oh well, I'll get it another turn. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna hold my planes as long as possible. Not that I'll be able to make good use out of them, but. Shall I throw down Nissa right now? I guess I might as well. Hmm. Well, I'm not doing anything next turn, except for casting out. Oh, I'm gonna play it. Uh, yeah. I might I might need that cast out for that lord, maybe. If he's got removal, better mm -hmm. on Nissa than the Gisela. I feel like True. A, I feel like a lot of Oh, well there you go. I feel like a lot of the removal or the creatures in this deck anyway are bait for removal so that when you actually go with your Bruna combo. Yeah, exactly. Got left. So I'd normally hold Nissa until we can flip her on the turn, but I'm gonna go with that idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Ooh, okay. That has to be a build around card, right? That can't be allowed yeah. to stick around. But why zombies? I suppose there is the uh, the one drop zombie that puts minus one minus one counters when it dies. I guess. 
Well, we're going to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Wunderbar. Ooh, I've actually got Ooh. my uh, my blue mana. Ooh. Would you look at that? See if we can oh, get an uh, infinite combo going. <laughs> <laughs> right, don't you attack me, and you can you can block. If you want to block, you can block. There we go. <laughs> that works for me. Well, let's see if they want to use removal on my druid of the cow. <laughs> There's no real reason why I shouldn't just swing in with it anyway. Hmm. thinking as such. Uh, no point me swinging in. Well, you made it a point that I have to swing in. <laughs> Just encouraging you in the right direction, Thalena. Yes. <laughs> I told you it was better for combat. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Draw two cards. Love it. Glad to help. Come on. Hit that continue button. Come on. Take me to back, back to back sand size. <laughs> oh, he's, he's thought better of himself. You correct <laughs> boy, you. Okay. I don't get to draw one card. Well, glad to do my part. Oh, nice. Wonderful. I'll do for those zombie tokens. Mm. I think it's safe to say our left hand opponent is mana screwed and he, he deserves it. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, before you play anything out next turn, keep in mind that if I arrogance... Things you die. Lose, yes. <laughs> things die. Only one of my mana dorks will die, and uh, potentially a wide board if they go crazy. Okay. Aww. Nope, not that case. I'm hoping that our opponent thinks that the effect is gone, and he still attacks him with that zombie. Come at me, bro. Come on. <laughs> Give me that card draw. Oh. Oh. It's coming. <laughs> Bring it. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. He's you so conflicted. You wanna... <laughs> like, do I want to... to pay two life to draw a card? I'd do that all day, every day, until I was at one life. Come on. <laughs> Damn. Okay. His patience has got the best of him. I've got a Nissa. <laughs> That you do. Oh, fine. Ooh, you actually be able to flip it this turn as well. That's nice. Yes, exactly. Okay. Well, I get to go land and big stomper, I guess, is a thing. That is a thing. What's your plan, Felona? Uh, I'm going to go Nissa Ticker. Okay. Might be able to play Caravan if uh, you get the decent top deck. Oh, I'll be able to play the caravan. It's just, what do I play? You know, oh, beyond yeah. that, where do I go? You got your mana dogs. My bad. Ooh. There's also that. <laughs> so that's a Bruna soon. Bruna getting yeah. back Bruna. Legend ruling itself. <laughs> that sounds yeah. Like a fun. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'm going to Druid. I think I want to just ramp. So I can, yeah, actually, okay. uh, I can actually get Tamiyo back if I play my cards right. Yeah, no okay, I could, yeah, I could uh, play this explosive vegetation, but I'm going to just hang in there. Nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I get to hunt for creatures with Duskwatch. That's good. That's all right. Rat Shambler. Huh. Sacrifice on the left, zombies on the right? Okay. Sure. Is it mono black zombies or is it Ozov zombies mana screwed? <laughs> oh, that would be uh, interesting then. That would explain a couple things. Why it's so slow. Ah! Oh, really, you say? Do I have four card types? I do. That's, a, that's an interesting choice. I got this. You got this. All right. <laughs> yeah. Something's going to get a minus one, minus one counter. I don't care enough. Although that rot shambler on his left side there. Ooh. Is that the, oh. That's the death touch one, isn't it? I oh, know it's when he dies, it comes back. Huh. 
Interesting. Yeah. All right then. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and a counter in a place that doesn't matter. Unless he wants to kill the Doom Dissenter. Hey, I'm glad to trade with my dorks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what's coming up. Oh no, not the recruiter. Oh. Whatever shall he do? How about his job? Get on with it. Let's go. <laughs> and a whiff. Land, land, vegetation. Ugh. And a cast out. Okay. Oh, really? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. How do I work with that? Well, I'd probably wait until you got your Bruner out. Get back your uh, Cultivator. You still have, I could uh, also minus Nissa to. You know what? I'd rather just plus her. <laughs> <laughs> so I, think just I gets, would say I could ultimate. minus. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, that works too. Hmm. Let's see. Nobody's ahead on creatures. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody at all. Alright. Canopy Vista. I think I hold the Amira Shepherd until I can play a land, actually. Or another land, anyway. Let's go with Stomper. Give me that guy. It's uh, Swag Daddy's little brother. <laughs> and Limvald feels not very valuable. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Bruna can get it back. Screw it. It's a 5 5 flyer. Outclass is <laughs> everything they're doing. Yeah. Let's hope they remove it. It's better than a cultivator, anyway. Mm hmm. Well, the cultivator's caravan's still accessible, even if they clear Limvala, so. Eh. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Painful lesson. You're about to learn one of your own opponent. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Did he ask his opponent's permission before he lost life? That's, uh, that's very <laughs> rude. Just really hope for a planes though. If I get a planes, I get Tamio or Nissa back onto the battlefield. That would be wonderful. Oh, cute. They have a Nissa as well. <laughs> a dead Nissa. <laughs> Indeed. It better be. I'm going to cast out if it's not. She'll cast it out, which is mm. worse than death. <laughs> okay, well, you've got no good attacks, so you might as well pass your turn. There you go. Mm-hmm. Hey, you're planes. All right. So, is it Tammy or is it uh, Nissa back on the field? Oh, goodness. I think it's uh, Tammy or in this particular case. I can't actually flip the Nissa. I'm going to take up on my Nissa and let's get some information. Ooh. How about Nissa? <laughs> nice. A little insurance policy. <laughs> All right. Amiria Shepard, go. Can I be Vista? Tamio, thank you. Alright. This deck does a little bit more than being all in on Nissa. All on <laughs> Brasella, should I say. Right, uh, tick up on you, tick up on you. On the big lady Ooh, and the big good. boy. And do I want to attack? It's kind of suicide in my stomper, but at the same time, do I care? <laughs> I get to draw cards. Ooh. This is this is true. Um, also holding back. I mean, I can risk my Limvala because I can get it back and meet. Well, yeah, there is that. <laughs> hmm. I can get mine back immediately. I can get my Limvala back immediately. So I'll uh, yeah. I'll send my Limvala in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you swing with yours. I th yeah. think I hold mine back because it just stops everything else. There's just mm -hmm. no combat step for them at this stage. Exactly. And dead Nissa. This is why our okay. opponent can't have nice things. There you go. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I keep drawing you the deck and stones. <laughs> okay, so if they didn't remove Linvala, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh, I need to use arms expertise. 
oh, this is, well, what do I play our Strahms, Druid? Yeah, I think you can't deny the chain value. <laughs> the chain value is insane. <laughs> And play a three mana cost card or less. That Rishkar's expertise was worth it. <laughs> the copper. <Play> land. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, and you can even ramp off of it as well. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Might as well. Exactly. Just drawing yeah. to gas from this point on. Exactly. Well, I, I had an efficient turn, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Left hand opponent sacrifice out there. Okay. Still no uh -huh. land drop, so they're screwed. No, they've been real bad on lands. Mm, I'd consider them pretty much out of the game at this point. For the most part, yeah, unless they got a big thing. Huh. Oh no, not my recruiter. Oh, oh. no, what more shall I do? <laughs> yeah, like playing a land might be necessary. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just play a planes and then uh, get it back. That'll be fine. And Stompy Boy has kept him back. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cycle a cast down. All right. Oh, nice. <laughs> How about playing two planes and getting the cast out back? That seems good. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's ramp, shall we? And play some uh, high converting mana cost cards in the process. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get a cast out for that zombie. And... <laughs> Let's Best get, cycle ever. Yeah, let's get a Nissa, because I haven't actually played my land drop this turn, so I can get a Planeswalker as well. Ooh. That's pretty good. There we go. There's only two forests left in the deck now. <laughs> Goodbye, Lord of the Accursed. Play a forest, get a Dismatch Recruit back to hand. Thank you, Flip Nissa. God, this was a productive turn. <laughs> Goodbye, opponent. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> Why did they scoop? I thought they had the game in the box. <laughs> uh, Worst dude. part is, is I could do mostly the same thing. Yeah. And then we'll uh, we'll have a little tick up sesh, shall we? Come on. <laughs> oh, I think the game might have broken. Oh no. Uh, no. Oh, it has an all. Ah, <laughs> <No. laughs> uh, well. Oh, game is sinking. Can I play now? Yeah, there we go. All right. Ollie's Bye. still viewing revealed cards to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, let's have both of our angels draw us cards. Or me cards, specifically, because I'm a greedy boy. And then I'm ready for combat. you still viewing cards. Oh, there you go. No, I, I've got a few things I've got left to go with. Uh, yeah. You could... Uh... I was going to say you could do the same turn essentially <laughs> oh nice yeah i can't do that this turn oh well <laughs> <laughs> i could do this though <laughs> i have no planes left in the deck <laughs> really oh boy well coming back to hands just as good i suppose indeed <laughs> this is a i would call this an unlosable position but i won't indeed. get ahead of myself because <laughs> you know what happens. I just call out things that would end my run. And they happen. Okay. Opponent bracket one is viewing reveal cards. Oh my. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Uh, I think we've brought the game to Lana. No. Mm. <laughs> We're going. We're moving. Yeah, yeah. In you go. Come on, Gisela. Come to me. That's a cloud blazer. If I actually draw Gisela or Bruner at this point, I can actually just get a Brasella. Well, I'll... you have Arborback Stomper to get it done anyway. Yeah. Uh, with your uh, evolution. Aye. Well, things are looking good here. <laughs> <laughs> They're not that good, Thalana. Don't, don't, just don't gloat. 
Don't so, gloat. No, I'm, I'm not going to gloat about my Nissa Ultimate. <laughs> we could lose at any moment, sir. Uh, not my grapple from the past. Or grapple <laughs> with. Or I, I'm grappling with that one right now. See, he's got a zombie token. I've got no answers for that in hand. That's all. <laughs> okay. What do we got now? It's just a shame we can't deal 18 damage immediately. <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't know how we can somehow manage to get 18 damage on this board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the tough choices. Come on, AI. Concede. Skip your turn. There you go. Alright. Sylvan Advocate. Right, Gideon. <laughs> 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 oh, what could Gideon be doing? I don't know. Something about a few ultimates going off here. I can't even target half my stuff right now. I just gotta pick random things here. <laughs> <Good burn. laughs> there we go. Yeah. And ultimate Gideon. Oh, I'm feeling good. That's minus the Tamiya. There we go. <laughs> Sacks in response, the <laughs> one creature that he could use. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Take up my Nissa for giggles. Ooh, Tyler's tracker. <laughs> Declaration in stone, your zombie token. <laughs> Cast out your 1-1, one, one, and then we're ready to swing. <laughs> okay. I think we might have lethal. I don't know about you. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. I'm just going to swing and we'll see how the math works out at that point, I think. <laughs> okay. Just in case he's got instant speed removal, we have the Avacyn as well, so that's good. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. I'm ready to go when you are, Philodo. Yeah, so am I, except uh, continue. Oh, I, oh, I'm hovering over your explosive vegetation, which is uh, not allowing... What's the attack with all? <laughs> It's not allowing because your explosive vegetation is in the way. I cannot attack with all. Oh my god. Get out of the way, uh, explosive vegetation. Uh, help and options, uh, controls. What is attack with all? <laughs> is it spacebar? I'm going to look. Uh... <laughs> it's kind of important. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know what I can do. I'll just uh, jiggle... Yep, there it is. Uh, attack with all is X. I don't know what X is on this controller because this is this controller doesn't have an X. Hmm. What does this do? There you go. Aha! <laughs> We've okay. got it. We figured it out. <laughs> Look at all those lines. Oh no, that's not it. Oh god. Okay. There we are. That. Uh, okay, this is going to be. Uh... <laughs> well, if you wait for that... the timer, there you go. <laughs> okay, it went. <laughs> we figured it out. Oh my no, god. No, it just. That time too many cards. <laughs> too many cards just blocked everything I could do there. <laughs> what did we get you down to? Minus 60. Okay, that's uh, that's an acceptable amount of winning, I guess. Okay, yeah, I could live with that. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's, go for, uh, let's go for another game, I guess. Indeed. What was that left hand player's name? It was a great name. Let's have a look. I'm going to have to take a look. Uh, Sylvester no ramp, but... Stalin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. We got Sly on the left. <laughs> a friend of mine scared me the other day. He told me Sylvester Stallone had died. And I was like, what? He's like, no, it's just a hoax. It's just a hoax. It was one of those again. Of course. Yeah, you hear about these people die, and then you hear years later, like, yeah, they're starring this movie. You're like, wait, didn't they die? <laughs> Isn't that man dead? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Pretty much a similar start for me. Turn to Dustwatch. Let's see if I can uh, flip it. Not that it'd do me much good. But... Mine's a little slower, but it's early game once it gets going. Hmm. Well, actually, if they don't... Well, I was going to say, if they don't play anything here... Wow, look at them crossing cards. Hmm. <laughs> don't cross the cards. <laughs> it's 
boundaries to set. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if I could have flipped my dust watch there, I'd have actually been able to get Tiles Tracker and Nissa on the same turn. That if, would if have been nice. Hmm. If I hit my land drops, of course. Oh, no. even Tireless Tracker Clue, I mean, mm. was what? possible. Well, speaking of, let's go Tiles Tracker. Got a spare one. All right. Uh, well, I'll throw out my Nissa. I've got grapple, so I don't care. <laughs> Bait that removal. Indeed. Don't exile, please. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be aware of the left-hand player with... Um, what's it called now? The one mana forced rest? Something like that? I can't quite remember. Uh, the zombie exile one, yeah. Mm. Well, that does something. Oh. <laughs> so I get rid of Duskwatch. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I'm torn. Actually, I'll get rid of Duskwatch because if I get another land, the Tiles Tracker land double clue. I'm never since left this. hand player is doing some crazy stuff. I'm watching my tragic arrogance. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be going wide. Yeah. Probably want to hope so, to leave him with a zombie token at some point. Yeah. You might have to just play what you need to. Of course, right-hand player may be playing some Simic Control. <laughs> well, I was going to go with Simic Ramp because it's 90% of the meta right now for some reason. But I know. I don't get it. It's always been there, but now it's really popular. Yeah. It's not even that good. I suppose it was like um, I think it was Shadows of Innistrad when Werewolves came out. They weren't very good, but everybody was playing them for some reason. Like, mm. They were so overplayed, and they weren't good. Or at least I don't think they were, anyway. They weren't great, no. They, mm. You had to get lucky on Ulamog, but then they kind of figured everything out, and you can get an Ulamog, no problem now. Mm. It's whether or not you have the opponent has the counterplay, and that's usually what does it. Yep, come on, land. Oh, oh you couldn't come on, give me a better land. land. <laughs> couldn't give me a better land. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Give me those clues. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And crack it now. Because I can. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I need to grab the blue sauce. Yeah, best do. There's only one island in this entire deck, but then again, there's only three island-based cards that you can play, so... I was kind of lucky oh. with that last hand, because I had ether hubs gonna play it carefully <laughs> deck and stone boom oh no yeah <laughs> the end of that <laughs> it's the biggest fear of my deck i can tell you now oh yeah this big game strategy just dies on its ass at that point mm -hmm. all right opponent install the answers <laughs> oh dear Give me time to play these, crack these clues, come on. Well, my arrogance would make you crack those clues real fast, <laughs> but uh, I don't think that's where you want to be. No, no, not quite. I'm fearing a fatal push from left-hand player since he cracked in Evolving Wilds. Mm. Where does he send it, though? I think we've both got threats on the board that are worth taking out. True. I think it's probably we would send it to one of my tireless trackers because two close a turn is just card advantage you never want your opponent to have. True. Mm. All right, let's see. Well, untapping with oh, <sighs> here's the problem: four open mana. Mm. Yeah. Bigger problem for me is that I want to swing in with these Tyler's trackers, but I can't play loads of stuff. <laughs> mm. I suppose I'll see... He'd never double block, right? Or would he? I don't think he'd double block. Even if he double blocked, does it matter? Mm. Well, I'm thinking if I crack two clues, then we swing the ten on the ground, which would... Trade with a double block at that point. But if he doesn't, then I can just play Nissa. 
play a land and crack a clue for the surviving one. Something I'm gonna sort. try to bait. Hmm. Okay. This will give you an open ability to do what you want. Oh. I thought so. Counters. So I think my Tyler's Tracker clue cracking line of play just plays around those counters that he's clearly pausing because he has. Yes. Or at least Okay, well. Mm -hmm. oh, if he hasn't, if he's got one, he'd do it right there. All right, no counters. Yeah. Good to know. That was the test. All right. All right. Ah, do I slam Tamio then? I suppose I could Tamio minus tap these guys down, swing in with everything. That'd be That's okay. True. And then I can use my four mana next turn to crack clues and swing through his dudes. Yeah, let's do it. Don't you dare counter now. I'm pointing at the screen, <laughs> you right-hand player. <laughs> For those who are watching, I'm actually pointing at the screen in anger, because I know it. Oh, nice. Oh, my. That was the right We're player. losing timer, though. We got to uh, swing in now. Yeah, I'm going. Bring it, left-hand player. Super long think tank turn. Oh, I commit. Sure. Oh. <laughs> that's what it was? A commit? <laughs> I mean, don't that's you, relevant. <laughs> don't you use that on Tamiya? At least. Yeah. You would think, but I guess Gisela was just that scary. It's frightening, that four, four life. Ugh. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded the four life. Ooh, uh -huh. That's a... Uh, that's a little brutal. Okay. Come on, cast out off the top. Hmm. It's not over yet. No, 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 of course it's not over. But it's getting a little tight. Hmm. I mean, I still have this arrogance, but, I mean, are we facing another commit? <laughs> well, I'm going to start cracking clues, because you might have to pull the trigger on that one. <laughs> Fragmentize doesn't target Liliana's mastery. Oh, dear. Come on, cast out. Bring in those cast outs. Start digging. That's a cloud blazer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get some more clues. I can't get ahead of these clues, Talona. You're going to have to buy me some time. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm too greedy. I need these. this card draw. <laughs> oh, god damn. That's another four clues. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, let's tick up on... Tick up on these zombies, I guess. Just in case he decides to tap down our team and try to get in. Those are the ones he's most likely to attack with. Mm -hmm. Uh, what am I doing here? <laughs> I think I'm going to be playing second main. Hmm. Should I swing? I'll swing with one. Even if um, you lose one. Even if you lose one, that makes it more incentive to tragic arrogance. Yeah, I suppose. I'm a little, because... a little irked by the fact that I will be trading a token for one of them, though. That's the thing. Yes. That would suck. But, tragic arrogance. Yeah, it we'll sacks your over. clues. Yeah. So your uh, trackers actually get bigger. So the one tracker that survives, I can make huge. Oh, yeah. That works that way. Good to know. Yes. Yes, it's synergistic. So the loss here <laughs> You're doing me a favor. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Just tell me you're doing me a favor when you wipe my board for Lola, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, it's turn. whether or not you want to lose those card draws. Mm. Okay. Uh, have you confirmed attack? Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> that would be me then. <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed we'd maybe had uh, stuck in a loading screen kind of thing. No blocks. Ten uh, damage? Really? Trying to kill Tamio, okay. I guess. It's fine, I suppose. So my planeswalkers are insta dead. 
We're not insta dead though. Hmm. Yep. Okay, so they spend their entire turn taking Tamio out. Oh boy. Okay, I am pulling the trigger. <laughs> That's disgusting. And tap down the one creature. Well, I'm glad I got in with the trackers, because I know they wouldn't be back for blocking, so... Mm. This is getting rough. Mm. Animus Awakening? Ah, uh, double hit. Oh, it's a mill uh, deck? Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's been Teamer all along. Huh. The Turbo Fog? That could be annoying, but I mean, I have Fragmatized for the first one. Mm. Okay, that's a big hit. It is. Should be okay, though. I got to draw two cards. It's great. Nice. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with this situation. Okay. Hmm. Totally ignored Tamio. Tamio yeah. could tap down. Okay, Fever Visions, I don't care about. I got this. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> it would be worrying otherwise. Just okay, back. so decide if you want to play all your clues before or after Arrogance. I might as well... I've got enough cards in hand. I might as well let them go. Okay, so, so the meaning that they're going to get sacrificed for the only value being a tracker getting bumped. Yeah. I get to keep one, so that's okay. But first things first, that's gotta go. Mm. Oh no! I don't have double <gasps> white. Oh god. That's uh... That's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Hang about. Huh. The issue would be the wayward servant could drain us even if they couldn't punch through. I can Cloud Blaze to gain life up to six. And I've got... I technically have blockers, but they're not good blockers for these tokens. Yeah. I have to play Nissa Vital Force to even block, or I can make... I can do this. Hmm. Okay. I'm a five, so I can't actually get. I can't flip my Nissa to do the same. But I can get my Cloud Blazer down, so that's fine. Ish. I think the life gain off the okay. Cloud Blazer is probably the best route here. True. Just so we don't die to train. He's got three cards in hand, so there's not a good chance that he can go wide, but. Ah. Hmm. Give me clues. <laughs> That's useful clues. Alright, and then it's tap down two creatures, isn't it? With Tamiya. Yes. Tap you, and tap you. Four fours are four fours. It doesn't really matter which one I pick. No. <laughs> I'll crack that for a forest, or whatever's left. A forest, wonderful. Yes. Give me more clues. <laughs> okay, not attacking. No attacks. Although, no, uh, we made a mistake. That's 15, oh. that's 15 damage. <laughs> we just missed lethal. Oh no. Yeah, oops. It's alright, it's okay. We both did it. Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Miss lethal, do we die because we're silly? Depends on if the burn comes out to play. Mm. Hey, burn. <laughs> Tamio says, dude. 
Damn you says, I'll jump in the way. <laughs> Woo, thanks, AI. Oh, uh -huh. no. Oh, no. Uh huh. <laughs> we might have made a really big mistake, Felona. We might still be okay. Hmm. I need one of your tireless trackers to live. <laughs> We're down to four. He's swinging in with a lot, though. We have to block them all. I don't yeah. think we have the one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we don't have the blockers. No, I think he's only got three guys attacking. Um, there's a guy. Oh, that... four, four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a summon sick one. I'm counting. That means that one of your trackers still survives. Okay, that's a little compressed. Thanks. <laughs> right, you go right to left. I'll go left to right. Okay. Oh, this is awful. Actually, probably want to take out the wind. Oh, oh. So. I, I automatically clicked on something I didn't want to there. And that one. Right, there should be okay, no orange. Okay, we're not... Yeah, there has to be no orange lines going to us. Okay, please target this one. Nope. That No, not that one. Oh, goodness. Is it the closest this one. one? Nope. Oh, my mouse is not <laughs> cooperating at the same time, but I am indeed clicking that one. Hang on. You go, for the, in... you, you go for the binding mummy. Yeah, get the binding okay. mummy, and then... Okay. No? Then the leftmost is not being blocked. All right, right. We get... I think there might be more than... <laughs> there might be more than four in here. Just jumble. It in. looks like four. One. Two. Three. Oh, there's one in the middle. No. God damn. I hope we don't have this problem. I can't with the tell. Reader. It's too compressed. Oh, never mind. I think we're dead. <laughs> God yeah. damn. There's time to reflect. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter that much. But yeah, that's way too confusing. Oh, we miss lethal. Oh no. Yeah. I'm sorry, comment section. It happens too often, and I know you hate it. <laughs> uh... Oh dear. Well, silver lining. We know we'd won that. We know in our yeah. hearts <laughs> that that was a win in our books. <laughs> oh, the targeting. And you guys, so you guys in the comment section know I was 10 seconds off of killing our opponent there, but I had mercy. Mercy, I'm calling it. <laughs> we let them live. And for that, we fell, you know. But what can you do? All right, well, that's, uh, that's, that's a match. <laughs> that's Indeed. A... <laughs> oh, dear. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, like and subscribe and head on over to Thelona's channel as well. The link to his channel will be in the description and there should be a link at the end of the end card as well if you want to go check out his video. Um, yeah, that's about it. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.